Shalom, beloved. It's a word. The chosen versus the called. The chosen versus the called. Those of you that have been chosen before you were formed in your mother's womb, Yahuwah knew you. Before you came forth, he had already called you. The difference between those that are called, the spirit draws certain people in. But the chosen, beloved, it doesn't matter what enemy comes up against you. When you were chosen by Yah, he already ordained you to do whatever it is he asked you to do. He did not choose you based on your mama or your daddy or your family because a lot of us find out that our families are not supportive. And what I mean is our brothers, our sisters, our mothers, our parents are not supportive. They don't see what Yah put in you. And those that do see it in many cases, they resent you for it. They will try to go against you to the point they will create an isolation for you. They'll go and lie on your name. And because of their position in the family, because they're your parent, people will believe them over you. You have siblings that they have been the golden child if you've been in a narcissistic family. And a lot of the other family members are flying monkeys. They will support the other one. And you, they will go against like Joseph with his brothers or David. Even David's own father could not see the calling on David when Samuel the prophet came. But you see, God chooses the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. You got family, you got people you work with. Why would God choose you? Because God doesn't look at the outward appearance. He knows your heart. He chooses the weak things. When you're that person that's been verbally beat down, physically bullied, um, told you were nothing. Although you had that something inside of you, that love, that knowledge for Yahuwah, for people, you were chosen. Not by mommy, not by daddy, and it don't matter what they say. When you look at um, Elkanah, when you look at Hannah and Panina, Hannah was childless and Panina ridiculed her, mocked her, made her feel like nothing. But unbeknownst to Panina, Hannah had been chosen to bring forth a prophet named Samuel. Who, when you look at the lineage, when you look at Samuel anointing Saul and David and the lineage of David, even going down to Yeshua HaMashiach. When you look at Elizabeth, who was old, here's this woman of Yah, of the family of Levi, you're the wife of a priest, and yet you had no child. When you look at the people who Yah uses. He uses the ones. When you look at, help me Lord, Gideon. Gideon was down hiding on the threshing floor because they were being persecuted. When the angel of the Lord came and said, hello, man of valor, like, like, Gideon was hiding, like, you talking to me? But he was chosen. You see the difference between being called and being chosen. 
you're set apart. You may be so bad. There are some people they hate you because of all that you ain't. They hate you because of all that you are. If you are smart, they ridicule you and they run out in front of you and tell you other people they look down on you because they're so intelligent. When in reality, all you did was have a soul seeking knowledge. But you see, these enemies become stepping stones. They don't know it at the time. They become them inspirators. Will you get to the point that I love Yah more than I love a liar. When you look at your parent and go, I may not be your favorite child, but my father favors no one. He is a equitable Yah. When I follow what Yah says, unlike earth and ashes, he does not choose to go with the one who does evil, but they're his favorite. So I'm going to love them more. Oh, no, no, no. His word goes out, doesn't come back for it. Chosen. Yah knew you. It doesn't matter. Some of us think because we're older and all these years have passed us by that it's too late. No, no, no. When you look at Moses, he was 80 years old when Yah came to him and he let Israel. It's not too late. It happens in Yah's time. Some people are called to do a certain thing for Yahuwah, but those that are chosen, that calling, that spirit is on your life. That spirit, that deposited thing that Yah put in you was there before you were born. So what the enemy doesn't understand is the more they talk about you, the more it makes you want to hold to the good thing, the more jealousy they show, the more you recognize how wretched and rancid jealousy is. And if ever it rose up in you, you cast it down because you understand it's a destructive thing. And where the person is jealous of you, you wanted to be a help. You wanted to be a support. But it strengthens your result. When you look at Esther and Mordecai, there was one Ham Haman. He got jealous of Mordecai. Mordecai was just looking out for the king. Esther was following what she had learned. She was being a woman of Yah. His vast eye had it all. But you see, you got some women that will go before you that Yah will remove out of the way. Just like he removed Saul out of the way of David, there's a better man. There's a better woman who's after my heart, who, who becomes the apple of my eye. Yes, yes, yes. That, that woman that had neither mother nor father, she had nobody but her uncle that took her in. And because you are chosen, everything around you gets blessed. And your enemies, the more they come up against you, strengthen you, they, they activate Yahoo. Anything they do against you, all things work together for the good of those that love the Lord. And what the devil means for your bad, God uses for your good. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. You're not too old. It doesn't matter if you fell, get back up. It's not over. And if you are chosen, it's not going to stop until you start. And when it starts, it's going to multiply and transform. What am I talking about? The power of the spirit that's upon you. Yah makes me wake up in the middle of the night. You know, I keep hearing about three to five and I never looked at it. 
as the three to five. I just know all my life I woke up between three and five. I hear, I see visions. One of the very last ones, somebody was trying to, to do evil to a baby. It hit my spirit so hard, I start praying, God, please, y'all, yeah, please, please, please. It wouldn't, until I get that relief. You know, in the Bible, it says, the burden of the Lord. And what that is, it's a pressing on your spirit, beloved. When you wake up, I'm talking about the chosen. I'm talking about the watchmen, whether you know it or not, the gatekeepers in that hour. Their dreams, their visions, their statements, they are the knowing that comes. You will know and see, and I want to say this real quick. The discerning of spirits, beloved, beloved, beloved. You can get around some people and they remind you of somebody that had all these issues, all these personality traits. I don't care how pretty. I don't care how rich. I don't care how ugly. I don't care how well-spoken. I don't care how quiet. I don't care how smiley wily you get. They get. That discerning of spirits that it gives you, that understanding. There is a man that lives next door to me that from the onset, he reminded me of another man. Everything that other man ever did, that same man does. These spirits, you will see them jump from body to body. Some people have that spirit in them. I'm talking evil, demonic spirits. You will see it sometimes in your own family members. They'll get jealous. They'll get conniving. They'll run out in front of you and lie. They'll try to uh, destroy your name and your character. But when you are chosen, nothing, no weapon formed against you is going to prosper. No, it won't. No, it won't. Sometimes Yahuwah will seal your tongue to the roof of your mouth because he says that battle is not true. It's mine. And I want you to watch. Watch what I will do. I am the Lord. I change it not. Vengeance is mine. I have watched y'all get vengeance on people to the point I start praying for mercy. I start interceding. It doesn't matter how much money you do or don't have right now. It doesn't matter if you're older. If the burden of the Lord is upon you, if you're waking up, if you're dreaming those dreams, if you're here, you have to decree and declare. You have to speak it into existence. And you have to pray that stronghold down. When I got the vision of the infant and this evil person, first of all, it's, it's too heavy for me. Like, don't do evil to a child. Don't do evil to a baby. It, it's a horror. And my spirit responded, and it responded until I could see that baby cool and I could see that baby safe. That baby may have represented an individual or a nation, beloved. We are watching the end of this horrible system. But if you are chosen, When that pressing comes, don't worry about whether you're male, whether you're female, whether you're young, whether you're old, whether your education is high or, or lacking, as many will have you believe. Move according to the spirit that the Lord has put in you. And that discerning spirit, beloved, that discerning. There are some people, while they're talking, you can hear the words they're not even speaking in between. Some people, without speaking, you can hear and you know. You have that knowing. You can see the end of the matter in the beginning. 
although they'll do everything they can to convince you to follow along. When you are chosen, you did not make that decision. Y'all did. When you're called, that's y'all drawing people near, but when you are chosen, it's from the womb. It's, it's while you were yet being formed, before you were born. To read it exact before I go, before I formed you in the belly, I knew you. That's y'all talking. He knew you before he ever formed you. And before you came forth out of the womb, I sanctified you and ordained you. There are some people in this world, they believe that, you know, a preacher or some type of person with all the accreditation has to touch you or, or, or sign off. But the greatest ordination you will ever experience happens in the spirit, happens in the everlasting realm when you are chosen. Just like he chose Yasharel, it does not matter how small, how weak, how little. He uses the weak thing to confound the strong. If Yasharel has this much impact worldwide, while they are under oppression, repression, suppression, what do you think is going to happen when Yasharel is loose? The weak thing to confound the strong, the foolish thing to confound the wise, and the world has lost their wisdom because we are in the last days. Time is flying. I'm going to end this, beloved. This is for the chosen. There are some who are called, the Spirit of the Lord is drawn, but some, the set apart. Again, you be encouraged. It don't matter what your mama said, your mama's voice, your daddy's voice, Aunt Effie, Uncle Fred, Cousin Boo Boo, don't mean nothing because it's the Lord speaking. He can quiet them until they never speak again until he calls them. It doesn't matter if your husband, if your wife, if your boyfriend, if your girlfriend said this, that, and the third and left you for the other. Before you were formed in the womb, y'all knew you, beloved. You be encouraged because the chosen never lose because it is not you. The world is fighting against. It is Yah. And you are blessed. You are blessing. Be encouraged. Shalom. It is worth.